Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Candice. Off from the title up there, um, my iPhone. I'm gonna tell you a little bit background of it. A lot of people have asked me questions about my iPhone, um, just why I got it, and I'll show you what's on it because my buddy I Talk Apple has been really curious by the fact that I haven't upgraded 2.0 yet. And I'll just tell you guys why, and I'll show you what's on my iPhone right now, which is running software 1.1.4. So to start off, here's my iPhone. Here's the case. It's a Griffin, Griffin something or other, but I really like it because I can wrap my headphones around a little belt clip. And it comes with a screen protector, if you guys can see. But to start off, um, I don't have two phones. I don't have service on this, if you guys can't see. It actually says no SIM. So I'll focus. There you go. No SIM. I use it like an iPod Touch. It has all the functions I wanted. Uh, back when I wanted to get an iPod Touch, it was $300 for 8 gigabytes. I thought that was really unreasonable. And I decided to get the uh, used iPhone for $200 uh, a couple of days before the iPhone 3G was out. So I got that nice volume rocker. I get um, the speakers. I get the camera that works with some applications. And I don't have to pay for really major software upgrades that iPod Touch users must. Like $10, $20, whatever. That's why I chose it. Uh, use it as an iPod. Now the reason why I haven't used it and I haven't uh, upgraded 2.0 is because I want to maximize my battery life. I know that 2.1 has gotten better on that, but I still, I've heard that 1.1 before is more stable and still has better battery life. So it's its main function, um, I don't really need all those fancy apps yet. I'm really considering upgrade when 2.2 comes out for that podcast support, but um, I'm pretty happy with 1.1.4 if you guys can see my software. Uh, let's start off. Original home screen. I really love how the original screen looked when when it first came out. I was in love with the picture of the iPhone. That's really nerdy of me, but I keep all the icons originally how they are. And um, yeah, movie next page. You got installer, Mobilecast, which downloads podcasts wirelessly. I'm a big Buzz Out Loud listener. I listen to almost all the CNET podcasts. And since Buzz Out Loud is daily, it's pro it's a pain in the butt to plug it in every every night and it sometimes doesn't even sync. I don't know, it's some kind of glitch or something. So it's really inconvenient if I'm in the middle of, let's say, like a Starbucks or something, I can just download the podcast. But actually, I use a different application now. Uh, Frame, which you know, it's like an IM client along with a VoIP client for the iPhone. Uh, mobile Twitter, video recorder, which records, you know, video with using the camera since the iPhone doesn't yet. MX2, which I love. Uh, downloads YouTube videos directly onto your iPhone using Wi-Fi or Edge, but of course I have to use Wi-Fi. Definitely easier than using an application on my MacBook. SMB Press Sketches, which is great along with the camera on the iPhone. Oops. Touchpad, which is a VNC client, works really well. Uh, Vista, which is just the blue screen of death. I thought that was kind of funny. And then Band. I'm a big orchestra geek, so I only have I think one instrument on it. That's cello. So yeah, that's really nerdy of me. But on the next page, these are all my games I have. I got Parking Lot, which I love. I talk Apple knows this. But I'm addicted to the game Parking Lot. And one of the reasons I haven't switched because this game in the App Store on 2.0 is like three or five dollars and I'm actually just too cheap to pay for it because I got this for free legally jailbroken and uh, I'm happy with it. Five Dice which is a version of Yahtzee. I love Yahtzee. Uh, iCube which is a Rubik's Cube. I used to be a big cuber until I stopped. Uh, iPhysics you know, iCopter, really addictive. Uh, ContraSense, you use accelerometer to control your car. Here, let me show you. You can go faster. I need to judge all the cars, and you need to get coins and all that stuff. Not as fast paced though. Then we got a speed run, which is like the Labyrinth game, of course. Let's pick a random level. Like that. You get to get that gray ball. Very fun, very frustrating. And then of course you have um, NES, which I don't believe is in the App Store. And you get all, you know, the good NES games. Moving on, these are all my web clips. So you got Mebo, which I've been using even before the iPhone. I used it with my really old PC, and, and AIM never worked on it, so Mebo came in and saved me. Uh, it's really near and dear to my heart. 
Facebook, of course, Google Talks, CNN, and Gadget, Gizmodo, Wikipedia, oh, opened it, got Twitter, and Podcaster, which I use instead of Mobilecast, and I really like Podcaster. It just streams the podcast. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching my video.